Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Nerds Gaming. I am Simon and today we are here to do a retro pickup video. So over the last few weeks I've been absolutely digging into the Sega Saturn collection and the, basically the library of the system and I've picked up quite a few games that I didn't have. So if you go back in a few of my videos ago, my birthday pickups, I picked up quite a few Sega Saturn games that I've been wanting for a while and I've picked up a decent haul of Sega Saturn games for this video. So let's just get into it guys. So the first game that we have up guys is Fighting Vipers. I never owned this game originally. The only kind of experience I had playing this game was through Fighters Megamix where it had basically a lot of the characters in there along with a lot of other Sega fighting franchise characters. Fantastic game. If you've never played Fighting Megamix, I definitely suggested it. Uh, recommend it, even not suggested it. So we do have Fighting Vipers here, and the first thing you will notice is it's not in a Sega Saturn box, it's in a DVD box. Now, I didn't check this, and when it arrived in the post, I was like, what the hell's going on here? What have I done? I had to quickly check back the description on the item on eBay, realised that they'd actually said it wasn't in the original box, and then I was just like, oh man, now I've got to find an original box for it. Now, I know this probably would have come in one of the old satin boxes, which was cardboard, and they absolutely deteriorate so badly. But still, it, do it doesn't look right in my collection. <laughs> it really bothers me. But everything else is fine. The game is proper. It has just had a case rechanged, because obviously they've lost their case, or it got really, really damaged. But we have Fighting Vipers. Next game I picked up is Blam Machine Head. Now I've been wanting to get this back in my collection for a while. It's um it's a good game. It's not fantastic. It just sits in that good area. And I did have it when I was younger. I remember playing a demo disc that had the game on it and I was like, oh, I need to get this. And I did pick it up. I just I can't remember exactly when. Um it's got a very 90s soundtrack to it, so it's very techno. It's it's quite good and the whole game is like an FPS but you're riding around on this uh, device here which I think is called the Vorpil Blade. You have twin Gatlin guns and you can get multiple like missiles, flamethrowers and stuff and you've got to basically traverse over the uh, like barren land now because of the machine head virus and basically get to your objectives but it is a game that i did enjoy i never did get to complete it but i did enjoy it when i had it when i was younger now if you have a look there it is only disc only and that's not a problem as i've said before many times if i can get a manual that's fantastic but if the price dictates that getting it disc only uh, sorry getting it with just a disc uh, is cheaper then i will always go for that option just to get the game itself in my collection
Next game I picked up is Firestorm Thunderhawk 2. Now this is the last of my eBay purchases. And um, I originally thought I'd played this game long ago. Turns out I haven't. It was another Sega Saturn Chopper game that I played. No, it wasn't Soviet Strike. It was another one. The name completely eludes me. If I think of it, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. But uh, yeah, this was on eBay for £5. And I've seen it before around places and that. Never thought very much of it. But I don't know, this one day, I just seen it there for £5. And went, yeah, I'll take that. And as an added bonus for £5, it is complete in box, which I can't argue with. You know, getting a Sega Saturn game for £5 complete in box is an absolute win for me. Next game up is Formula Kart Special Edition and I picked this up off me off my friend um Retro Game Lover who as you've seen on this channel before I picked up quite a few Sega Saturn titles off him and I seen it and I, I know nothing about this game other than what was on the Sega Saturn brochure that I'd done quite a few videos back now and it did promote this game and I was thought, ooh, I wonder what it's like. Now this is the special edition um version i don't know if that's because it's a different case or if it's got extra gaming content if you know let me know because i do believe this came in one of the crappy satin cardboard boxes but this one's in a hard plastic shell which was you know such a turning point for satin games to be held in and I'm, I'm quite happy a lot of the uh, better games are in these like of burning ranges and that because these games are just a far more versatile now we just open this up and there we go we've got it complete in box and it's also got the little manual now this is what i was talking about the uh sega saturn kind of flashback uh booklet and the game is there so that's what kind of spared me on to get this game just because it was promoted on there and i thought well i've never played it and plus i do need to expand my driving collection for the sega saturn there's still a lot of racing games i do want to get for it Thank you. 
and the last pickup I have, this was the other game that came along with Formula Karts, and it is Andretti Racing. Now, I kind of got this bundled in as like, I, I did a bit of bargaining and I just went, you know what, throw that in and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just, you know, tie up the kind of bundle to, a, you know, a sum of money. Because I'm not into Formula One racing at all. My type of racing is more rally based. But I thought since it's there and it's a game I don't own, I was like, you know, threw me shot and said, can I, can I have that in for like, I think it was £35 for both of them. And he was like, yeah, sounds. So, you know, we come to agreement. And it's an EA game, so it's in one of these big, chunky EA cases, which I know people like. I don't, because it just looks so weird when you're looking at your Sega Saturn collection and you've got, like, you know, Sega Saturn collection's weird anyway because you have the hard plastic cases and then you've got the cardboard ones and then you've got these big big massive ones so we just open this up oh man it's pretty tough there we go i mean look at the room in the size of these it's like massive so it is complete in box like the formula carts which is really really good and again these two for 35 pound is probably a good deal i think and um yeah i'm, I'm not into formula one games at all um, I don't like the kind of pace of them. They, they can be quite fast, but I like, you know, rally games and that. But being a retro collector, this is the thing. I've got to, you know, try some of these games that I never played before and maybe not in my genre class. So it kind of takes me out of that box. But yeah, I thought I'd give it a go and um, see how it is. Thank you guys for watching this video and I do hope you enjoyed it. What did you think of my Sega Saturn haul? Were there any titles that stood out to you? Anything that you've played that you really loved? Let me know. Put it in the comment section down below. And as always guys, I will catch you next time.